Alright. Hello, everybody. This is Meatloaf Gamer here. And, uh, today we are starting a new LP, which if you actually can see the Wii channel icon, you will be able to see which game we're playing. That is, well, I'm sitting too close to my TV. Oh god, that's loud. Definitely can turn that down. Alright, so this is Kirby's Epic Yarn. There's actually an interesting thing about this. This LP is probably about... I'd have to say like four or five days overdue. Because really, realistically, I started it on February 2nd. But it's like February 7th now. So... Yeah. This is a very charming game. I love this game so much. As you can see, I already have a file. It's actually not too, too tough to get 100% in. That's why I'll be doing it. It should probably only take me like 20-some parts. So this is basically like the little story. I can just talk over this. You could, There's subtitles. It's like just some cutesy little friggin' thing. But, uh... Basically... Like, I tried starting this on February 2nd, but I'd already recorded three episodes of Mario Sunshine. Plus, I wanted to watch... Uh, what movie did I get? Oh, I wanted to watch uh, Born on the, on the Fourth of July by Oliver Stone. And, um... I just didn't feel like recording this. Because it's got, like, this really long story at the beginning. Oh, God. Stop that! It's my magic Metamato. Metamato. So basically, Metamatoes are just like these really big tomatoes in Kirby games that'll make you, you know, healthy. I don't really know what the frick they do. I mean, does it really, it doesn't really matter. I like the horror music that plays whenever Kirby gets sucked up. Yeah, but basically, Kirby gets sucked up by this yarn thing and he gets turned into some freaking cute yarn creature. Heh <laughs> Yeah, this is a funny little story they got going on here, but... This game is, uh... One of those games that really rewards you for going slow and taking your time. Because there's, like, little collectibles that you can pick up. And there will we'll freaking... Like, if we miss something, we can just go back later in, the, in another episode. But, uh, I don't want this to be too much of a mess. Oh, yeah, Kirby basically saves the prince, this boy, or whatever, and the boy becomes friends with him. I don't know, it's like just, I don't know, it's it's a stupid story, but it's nice, huh? Not really, like, just, not freaking much I can say, but, like, basically there's, like, this tutorial level. Thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world. Wow! Welcome to Pat. So this is Patchland. Basically, like, this guy just wants to show you. Yeah, this game's just so... There's actually three Kirby games on the Wii, which is surprising. It was probably one of the biggest franchises to ever hit the Wii. There was, um... You can read that if you want, if you guys want. <laughs> this kind of sounds like that. I can see clearly now. Um, yeah, so, like, you can actually choose whatever level you want. You can choose to do it in one or two players. So, like, if, if you're playing with two people and one person doesn't feel comfortable doing a level because maybe it's just, like, too tough. So, I'll, I can teach you guys how to freaking play this. It's not tough. You just hit, you hit one to use your rope. So, you can, like, pull things like that. If you aim up and you use your rope, you'll get stuff like that. And you'll create yarn balls. So, you can actually, like, do that. You can do it with enemies, too, as it just explains. So now, if you if you hold one whenever you have an enemy, you'll create a yarn ball. Yeah, I was just hitting it that out of instinct. So you gotta wait for these little droplet dudes to come, and you can also throw them up, of course. And you'll get those big stars like that. So now Kirby will turn into a cute submarine, and you can pick up all these things. And then whenever you're done, of course, you can. You know, this is probably going to be my most casual LP that I'm doing. Because it, it's just such a casual freaking game. I mean, like, there's just not much you can really say about it. Like, there's not... 
any, like, secrets, too many secrets at least, you pull these things and you get... These are the items I was talking about earlier. This is another cool mechanic of the game. You'll find these areas, you just go behind them. Like, it's just so... I don't know. Like I was saying before, there's actually three Kirby games on the Wii. There's this, Return to Dreamland, and, uh... Freaking Epic Collection or something. It's the Kirby Collection. It's, it's a collection of all the best Kirby games. But, um... This and the collection of Kirby games are actually my favorite. Because... I really don't think that... I mean, Return to Dreamland is just a basic Kirby game. And that that was my my gripe with it. It was it was just a basic Kirby game. Like, you know, there's nothing to it. There's nothing, like... There's just nothing interesting going on. It was just a Kirby game. Which is fine. Like, it's still a good game, but... You know, this was just so much more freaking interesting. Like, there's just so much going on. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just sounds kind of stupid talking about Kirby games like they're films or something, but you know, like there's just a lot more going on. So if you double click the um, r uh, right D pad, you'll turn into a car, which is actually my favorite part of this whole game. You can also do it with left because look at how fast you're going, you know? Oh, let's see if we can get. No, we'll just get basic. So, this is another thing I love. Ah, oh, frick, we were actually really close. Like, just no matter what they get, they're the happiest motherfuckers on the planet. Like, they're just dancing around and stuff. Um, so there, you'll actually, like, you'll get a screen at the end, and if Kirby's dancing around like that, you know you got something good. Oh, jeez, we could've got a streak of 100, but... <laughs> Jeez, like, I remember the first time I played this. Like I said, like, you know, we've probably been recording for, like, ten minutes. But, I mean, I'm getting everything I need to get. This game, like I said, this game rewards you for being slow. Okay, I'll explain the story to you. We can just freaking skip it. Um, so, like, basically, Yin Yarn, the sorcerer. Like, he's just messing up their, their land, man. So, um... That's not freaking good. That isn't j just like that isn't gonna fly with the yarn people. So they they're like too scared to do anything about it really. So they enlist the help of Kirby since he's new there, and he seems that he's a worthy person to be doing it. That you know he should be the one to uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like, he should be the friggin' one to help them. Like, yeah, that's the, if that makes any sense, I don't know. So this is basically all the world, uh, like, stuff that you'll get from the worlds. So, like, furniture, characters, uh, music, which are called tunes. Just, like, stuff like that. So as you can see, there's all, like, these little levels down here that have question marks. We'll find out what those are later. I'll show you guys. So this is actually a very interesting part of this game. There's this proprietor guy over here. He's shyster. He sells, ap sells apartments. <coughs> but, um, like, he'll just give you apartment number 101. And basically, you can furnish it with items that you find in levels, which is interesting. Like, we'll be doing this, actually. And then people will, other yarn people will come over and play... And they'll, like, you know, want to be at your house. And then they'll invite you to do challenges and stuff. Which I'm pretty sure challenges don't matter. But I'll have to look it up. I'll have to watch, like... Because I know Chugga Conroy did a Let's Play of this. But I don't know if any... Actually, any other YouTubers have done a Let's Play of this. So, yeah, like, I'll let you guys read this here. You point at the screen to change the layout. Oh, God. Jeez, like, I'm sitting way too freaking far away. But yeah, there's like, you know, you can like play stuff or just, well, at this point we'll actually just go back, because there's nothing we can really do. So we'll just like turn into a car in our own house and just leave. Um, because like, you know, sure, we have, we have the King's Throne and we have the Chandelier. But like, you know, other than that, there's not really much we can do. Look at how happy everybody is. Oh my god. Jeez, like... Okay, so it's gonna have to load again. This is this is just gonna be the biggest freaking problem with this let's play is loading. But yeah, like okay, so there this is actually our first little area. It's called
called Fountain Gardens. Now, in each world, there's actually a boss at the end. That boss, if you get, like, a perfect score while you're fighting the boss, you will end up unlocking... Oh, God, what's this guy gonna do? You'll unlock an extra zone that's in each world. So, like, for example, we'll, um... You know, there's gonna be all these different levels that we can do in here, but whenever we're fighting the boss, if we... Oh, yeah, that's right, you have to click up to leave those things. I completely forgot about that. Like, if, when we're fighting the boss and we get all his crystals that he drops and we get a perfect score, then that's just good freaking news for us because we'll get the extra world. Okay, so usually you'll discover the piece of furniture first, but don't be discouraged if you discover something else first because on occasion you'll find other things first before you find the pieces of furniture. <coughs> like, for example, in one of the levels, I, I know for a fact that you, there's freaking, you get, like, music before you find the furniture. Like, it's just like that every time. Oh, God. Yeah. You can kill the enemies if you want, but they're just kind of, like, chilling, having a good old time, so I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. If you're one for sentimentalism, you might not want to kill them, but... Yeah, but that's like with any Kirby game. I know some people have trouble killing enemies in Kirby because they're like, well, what's wrong with these guys? Like, you know, they're just as good looking as Kirby. Oh my god, I bumped that guy. So, but I really don't care. I just kind of killed him. Um, oh jeez, man. Yeah, you can't... Uh, another thing in this game, like, you cannot die. Really. Like, if you... I mean, you can die, but, like, you have to lose, like, all your crystals or something like that. You, it's, it's really, basically what I'm trying to say is it's really tough to die in this game. And if you die, then, eh, I'm not gonna say anything. Um, but if I end up dying, like I said, just look, like, I'm going very slowly through this. I mean, it rewards you for being slow, so you might as well just take it slow. So you can, like, actually shake. This is one of the cool mechanics of this game. Which makes it so much, to me, so much more interesting than Return to Dreamland. It's because, like, you can just shake... Like, look, I just shook that tree and pulled gems out of it. Like, I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's cool for a Kirby game. It's just, it's different. Like, it's not just the same exact freaking formula every time. It's... You get games like Epic Yarn or, uh... Whatever the... I think it's Robo... Bobo bot or something on the freaking 3D... Whatever the 3DS one is, but, like, you know, that one's really good, too, because it's different. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can turn that guy. Yeah, the bo the blocks will tell you which way they fall. So you can pull the zipper. You'll turn into, like, this thing that pulls the zipper. I don't even know what the frick it's supposed to be. But, like, yeah. You can drop down here. Oh, man. I tried turning into a car to do something cool there, but... So there's a fountain you can put in your house, which is kind of like, I think, overdoing it, but. Yeah, so, like, when you jump into these type of things, they'll take you. Oh, my God, that cloud, dude. That cloud is... Christ. Um, yeah, there you go. So there is actually another metal there. We'll wait for this one. That's actually, it's actually easy to miss the music in this one because it's just like kind of tough to get to. I don't know, I don't know what to talk about. I mean, this is definitely a game where you can commentate a lot more than actually try and explain what you're doing in the game. Because it's just like, it's so easy. It's just like, there's nothing to really try and explain. I mean... You're Kirby. That's it. That's all there is to it. Really, I mean... And you're made of freaking yarn. Like, there's just a lot... I don't know. I, this game's just so much... I like. I enjoy it more than other Kirby games because... Like, you're actually doing something different than just being Kirby all the time. You're... Like, you know, you're yarn Kirby, which isn't much different, but still... It's something different than just being, like, normal freaking Kirby. Which, to me, is boring all the, to be doing that same formula the whole time. That, hence, 
why I'm gonna repeat again why I like this game. Just freaking abstract. Different. And I like things that are different. I like things that take risks. Because, you know, like, I bet the people who make... Okay, so this is easy enough to control. You just tilt where you want to shoot, and then hit one to shoot. So, like, this part here, you just want to shoot this thing. You can shoot these things, too. They'll explode. These parts are the be probably some of the one of the best parts of the whole game. I mean, like, just some of the best parts of the whole game, I should say. You hit two to, like, jump, too. But two doesn't really jump like you think it would. It kind of, like, boosts you a tiny bit. So it's not, like, actual jumping. It's just, like, a little boost. So as you can see at the top, that's what's measuring how much we actually have. Like, how many gems we've collected. I also love the music in these areas. It's different than the normal, like, just super happy music. And be careful here, too. Rockets. Oh, uh, yeah. That's bad. You'll lose, like, all your stars. Yep. And that's how you turn back into normal Kirby. You get horrendously wrapped back into his body. Oh, jeez. Frick, we might actually end up getting... Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, no! Of course it would go over. Jeez, with my freaking luck. Yeah, I only have a streak of, like, 22 in this one. So, you'll get badges, that's what they're called. Badges at the end of each level. And, like, that'll just access you... That'll give you access to the next level. Oh, no, I got a streak at 257. Yeah, but, like, it says... You found the butterfly patch, so that'll give you access to the next level... In green gardens or green fields. So, it explains to you how to place a patch. Literally, you can just throw it at whatever point you want. And it'll automatically go to that place. You don't have to be... Oh, God. I almost choked. Um, you don't, actually don't have to be, like, anywhere near where the patch needs to go to throw it. You can just throw it wherever you want. Look at... Oh, my God. Kirby's so happy about everything. We're at 17 minutes right now. I'll probably go into this... Oh, jeez. How he freaking crouches in this game, too. Like, it's just great. I'll probably actually, like, go into this level and try and get at least some of it done. Like, you know, it's... There's no rush, really. I mean, this is only the first episode, and we're already pretty far along. Oh, God. But don't fret. This actually isn't... I Because I'm doing two LPs at the same time. I'm doing... Sunshine and this. And I just did one with my brother. Which was like, you know... Uh, if you guys watched that, it was... Uh... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, if you guys watched that one, that was Double Dash with my brother. That's my first co-op LP. I didn't think it went too bad. We just didn't add voices because, as I explained in the thing, it's, uh... My mic just doesn't work that well with that type of stuff. We'd have to have, like, separate mics and some type of program. Which is actually how I plan to record later videos with, like, a program for audio. And then use the audio device that comes with my capture card to record game audio. Because, to be honest, it doesn't record bad audio. Like, you guys might have heard in the, um... Freaking Double Dash one. Like, it just... It isn't bad audio. It's just, like... It's easier to do it this way for me. Like, just sit in front of the TV and have the mic halfway between my mouth. And the, uh... Halfway between my mouth and the freaking TV. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. There's just not much going on here. She's like, I might make this 25 minutes. Because this is just so much fun playing. I, I haven't played this game for actually, like, a really long time. This one's easy to walk on because it's bigger. So you'll get more leeway. So this is actually the first piece of furniture. It's a flower clock. Oh, God, that sounded bad. Oh, no. I should be able to make that if I turn into a car. You'll come... You'll see, like, you'll come to little obstacles like that. Like, you know... Oh, no, how am I going to make that jump? But it's never something like, you know, as complex as if you're playing Mario or something like that, you know? Like a really kind of in-depth platformer. Um, you aren't thinking the same... You aren't using the same mentality when playing something like Mario. You're 
thinking differently while playing this. You're like, oh, geez, what's that? I wonder what that item is. Um, or... Um, like, I don't know. Just... Like, it's just a different mentality, is what I'm saying. Because this game's clearly designed for children. Hence why it's, it's a family game. I mean, like, you know, it's easier than any other Kirby games, but... At the same time, it still makes you think about, like, oh, I wonder what's coming up. So that's an umbrella stand f of a freaking frog, which is probably one of the most useless items you'll ever get. Not in just in the game, but, like, in general. Like, who would buy that in real life? But I guess because Kirby just freaking finds it, so why not take it? But I don't really know if that's considered thievery, because there's, like, no one claimed it here. Oh, God, his umbrella, I forgot about that. You just have to get behind him. It's an easy thing to figure out. God, the noise Kirby makes, though, is annoying. Spleesh. This reminds me of the guy from uh, Wind Waker who goes, Spleesh. Okay, so this. You follow these exclamation points, and they will lead you to secrets. In which you pull the exclamation point. There, see? And you'll get the freaking music for the level most of the time. Like, that time it was music, but sometimes it'll be something different. Like, you know, that could have been a piece of furniture, or that could have been anything. The point is that those exclamation points are there for you to follow. So, when you see them, you want to follow them. There's just, like, not much to talk about. I don't know. This is my third, well, technically it's my fourth LP, but it's my third LP that I'm actually going to complete. Because that... Oh, God, friggin' Ocarina of Time was terrible. So everyone at school that actually, like, finds my videos still probably end up watching, like, one or something. But, like, they watch Ocarina of Time, and I'm like, oh, man, that one's, like, my worst. That one's just not freaking good. So, like, in almost just about every level, there's going to be the these. This one's actually easy to control. All you do is you use the D-pad. Some of them are a little more complex, like, they'll involve, um, motion control, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. But if you hold two for this one, you'll suck up all these things. You just have to be careful here. Because every time you suck something up, it's like... There you go. Yeah, if you suck up enough of them, you'll end up getting, like, this huge electric charge. You have to get enough of them, though, like I said. There you go again. There's going to be something down here, I think. I've probably been recording for over 25 minutes. I should probably stop. Okay. Well, if that did go a little over... That's eh, 23 minutes. That's fine. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. This is enjoyable so far. So I'll see you guys next time.